Hello, the amazing D365 community. This is Danica Makatangay, your Miss Dynamic Millennial. We have a situation here wherein we're trying to delete a fixed asset record wherein we know that it, is not it has not been used or never been used into any transaction. But once we try to delete it, the system is keep on saying to us that it has been used already on a transaction. Two points that I was able to notice why the system is keep on telling us it has been used already in a transaction, even though the fixed asset has not been acquired yet. The first reason is that there is a pending or unposted journal having that fixed asset ID. Second is that the fixed asset ID has been used in an unposted journal, but the journal line with the fixed asset ID that has been deleted. Now, the situation here is why we are trying to delete it is because we assigned it to an incorrect fixed asset group. Instead of a fixed asset group for machinery, it should be for a fixed asset group for computer, let's say. And we don't want, if this is a fresh record or a new migrated record, we don't want to name it do not use, just for the user to see that that fixed asset should not be used. We want to rectify that record and put it into its correct fixed asset group. But again, the situation is we cannot delete that fixed asset anymore because in the back end, it already recorded on the dimension or the ledger table a record for it, even though it has not yet been acquired. Now, what we can do is to change or reclassify the fixed asset group. How to do that? We click, we, we go onto the fixed asset number that we want to correct under fixed asset action pane, maintain group, then click the button for change fixed asset group. Here, we can select which is the correct fixed asset group that is to be assigned for this fixed asset. And as mentioned earlier, let's say it is for a computer or it should be for a computer fixed asset group. So we select that fixed asset group computer and let's say to assign a new fixed asset number to yes and automatically the system will assign a new fixed asset number for us based on the next number that is available in the system or in the number sequence assigned for computer fixed asset group and then we click OK and click yes. Now our expectation is that the machinery nine should already be removed in the system and we should have COMPT46 as a new fixed asset. So let's try to take a look onto that. Let me clear this filter for us and look for COMPT46. This is the machinery or the sorry the fixed asset that we are that we wanted to delete earlier because it has been assigned into an incorrect fixed asset and now we do not have the record for machinery 9 or for mac 9 and now you're going to ask me can we still delete this definitely not because we just change the fixed asset group and whatever the record is in there in the back end is still the same. But we have corrected or assigned the fixed asset into its correct and proper fixed asset group. That is all, my dear amazing D365 community. I hope it has been of a help for us and see you on our next blog. Thank you and God bless us all.